I understand you are selling the oil. Sure, I am selling. I'm making a lot of money with it. Why selling it? Because it's a business. It's a registered business, but I didn't start as a business. I started as for Nala Mandit. Is Manchester Kings of Nala World of Plenty Teleport on World of Plenty TV? Divine prophetic dots for your day. Is Manchester Kings of Nala Plenty of Jesus? Hey, we can have this for the days of the Kings of Nala before. His Majesty Kings of Nala, the Plenty of Jesus. God said to me, he will use my name to heal people. That's what he told me. The, one of the reasons we got fake product, we, if the issue is not the water. The issue is not a product. The issue is my name. That's why when they will say I'm taking this water from the snake and so, I said, okay, take them out. As long as there is a sticker there, throw them out. Go to your tape, pour them, and see what is going to happen. You will get the same result. The issue is not a water. The issue is obeying instruction that convinced me and the people of like-minded who believe in me as a man of Remember also, when I started Faith Product, uh, I didn't start Faith Product actually. It's the people who discover. For example, Peter didn't stop people taking, and Paul taking the, the medical clause to them. It is people who demanded. And there is a difference between the doctrine, your doctrine, and God's doctrine. For example, they condemn people who are raised from the dead based on the doctrine that Jesus said, in his name, those who go and pray for the sick, in my name, they shall be healed. He never said, by my name. He said, in my name. Mm. So they were not healed by the name of Jesus. In fact, in, in Mark 6, you will find the verse, verse 13, where they went out in the same mandate like he sent them. The rest of the guys, they don't explain what Mark explained. How did they curse demon and heal people? They apply oil. The very word healing, it has three things. There's a general word healing. There's a word called therapy, where you apply oil on the person. That's why it says if anyone is sick, you should call for the elders of church and apply oil. Therapy healing. And there is an instant healing whereby I don't apply anything in, in, in somebody's body, but people get healed. The Bible says, uh, if anyone is amongst you sick, let the elders come and anoint them so that they may be healed. Sure. I understand you are selling the oil. Sure. I'm selling. I'm making a lot of money with it. Why selling it? Because it's a business. It's a registered business, but I didn't start as a business. I started as for Nala Mandate. When the government was attacking me and I was making a lot of money, which I'm able to buy time, I'm able to pay rent. From the time I sell product when I was successful, I stopped taking any salary from church until today. Instead, I put money more than anybody here in church because I wanted to protect the faith product as my way God has blessed me to gain income so that I don't bother people whether they have given, whether they have not given. So I think any person, I know people say, but Paul didn't sell. I'm not Paul. That's number one. I'm not Paul. And two, it never say he did not sell. We don't know how he got them. Three, this water, they don't carry the anointing. But I pay for this water. I paid for this. And the shop where I keep, there are people who are working. Because the same question should be asked, why, the, why we sell the Bible? Because it's the word of God. It's worse, the Bible is the word of God. And the people who sell the Bible to us, they never wrote the Bible. Who is a thief who's selling somebody's product and somebody who sells his brand? <laughs> <laughs> those, who, those who follow me well, they know that I, mm. I, have, I have plainly spoken about the anointed products and everything.
Yes. Which is what I, I call it the merchandising of the gospel. I like that merchandising of the gospel. Because many churches are closed here in town who didn't merchandise the gospel. I have a question. Yeah. Who called you? God. That means God hired you. Whether he hired me or not, but let's say who gave birth to me? My father. Yes. Who has responsibility to feed me? My father. And when I grew up and became a responsible guy, mature guy, my father told me how to plant, how to make something that will bring my food. Only babies who can make money in church. For example, I stopped being poor after I realized I have a gift. So I need to be fully dedicated to it without thinking to be hired and, and spend my time and research so that I can excel and grow in my I cannot do that with waking in the morning, going there for eight hours and coming back and running services at night. So I need to be full time. So if I need to be full time, I got a place to, to pay, uh, to, to, to stay, uh, food to eat, car to drive, or these things, they don't come free. God doesn't come in heaven and make me. He has given me food in my mind to use my mind. And I believe many pastors, when they come in heaven, they will say, I was poor because of what, what, what? You will say, no, you were stupid. Remember the example in the Bible, say five talent, one talent, two talent. Who was thrown to hell? Who failed to make money, to increase, make money? I call it a sin of being unproductive. It, it was supposed to be a rhetorical question that says. <laughs> <laughs> But, but anyway, I, I think I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> very interesting. I, I know there are so many people who are going to watch this and they will, they will ask whether you are real or not. Yeah, I, I think I'm sitting next to you and I can see that you, you are a real person. So. <laughs> I am a real person. Plenty TV, divine prophetic dots for your day.